morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. We are honored today to have uh, our special guest, Mr. Marika Jadid, the Assistant Secretary of Obama, and uh, also Mr. Stephen Garrett, and of course, our lovely President, Dr. Lehlou. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, we are uh, the group that I'm leading group of American businesses. Uh, we're in our second day in uh, Morocco. Uh, really excited to have an opportunity to see, uh, first of all, I'm hoping to have an opportunity to take questions and interact with you. Uh, Dr. Uh, Alex, uh, like, thank you very much for your uh, hospitality. Uh, I know that we're a little short on time, so I'll, I'll be very brief in uh, in making uh, very short remarks. Uh, and, and so perhaps I'll start with uh, a few ideas about uh, international commerce. Uh, and just as a precursor, I'm the uh, Assistant Secretary uh, of Commerce uh, for, international, uh, for international trade uh, at the U.S. Commerce Department. Uh, and the purpose of my trip to uh, Morocco, uh, where uh, leading a delegation of U.S. businesses who are uh, focused on uh, engaging in trade uh, and investment here in Morocco in the uh, security and, and safety uh, sector. Uh, but again, back to international trade. I believe that uh, from the American perspective, uh, <coughs> growth in in the in, in the in in general in, in terms of American firms uh, being in, interested in engaging in international trade is is relatively new. Not so long ago, uh, American firms uh, were inwardly focused. Uh, the U.S. is a big country, as you know big market, uh, and in many respects, our home market was uh, the focus for most uh, American companies. A firm based in California, uh, for most of, of our country's history, exporting would mean selling products to Boston or New York, uh, let alone a country like like Morocco. But over the last 30 years, uh, as uh, Morocco's economy and others around the world has grown, uh, certainly grown a lot more, a lot more uh, faster than uh, uh, the economy in the United, United States, uh, Europe, and, and, and even Japan. Uh, generally, American firms have realized that uh, there are great opportunities uh, outside of the United States. In fact, 70% of the world's purchasing power is outside of the United States. And so that realization has led to increased interest in uh, exports from uh, U.S. companies, not just big companies, but companies across the, the economy. Our challenge in the U.S is that less than 1% of the 30 million U.S. companies uh, actually uh, export. And for those who do export, uh, most export to just one country. So that, that's our focus at the uh, Department of Commerce. Uh, and in the U.S., uh, we're committed to informing U.S. companies about international opportunities. Uh, we have uh, commercial officers deployed around the world, including uh, Doug Wallace, who is the uh, senior commercial officer in, in Casablanca. Uh, and in fact, Doug has had an opportunity to work with your university in uh, uh, addressing uh, some regulatory concerns uh, that your school has had over time. So I know we're short on time, 
uh, would love to have an opportunity to learn more about your experience uh, as students at uh, an American uh, university, one that uh, is focused on the U.S. Uh, approach to business education, uh, and uh, would love to take back any concerns that you have uh, or any ideas that you have on how uh, the U.S. can do a better job of engaging uh, Moroccan students and the Moroccan uh, business community broadly. So, uh, questions? I'm sorry, Do would you mind? My yes. Well, uh, my question is, what is your agenda to help the African students to have access to American education and the know-how, especially that they don't have the means? Well, I, I believe that uh, in the United States, uh, our approach to uh, education obviously is, is different than many of the European, uh, uh, European countries. Uh, private providers of higher education, uh, both in the U.S. and abroad, is something that we absolutely embrace and, and encourage. Uh, so I think the, what the, the U.S. can do uh, uh, as both our, our public sector, the government, and private sector education providers is twofold. Uh, continue to be open to inbound international students who want to attend uh, 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 university in the U.S., but also entrepreneurs uh, like uh, Dr. Alex and his team uh, engaging and exporting the U.S. model uh, at campuses like, like this one across the world. And uh, the U.S. private sector is having a significant uh, impact. I learned just this morning that this university has uh, approaching a thousand uh, graduates in, in Morocco, which is a really impressive number given its short uh, history. Uh, we'd like to see more of that. Uh, and in countries where uh, the U.S. has uh, uh, bilateral trade agreements, uh, education is always a feature. Uh, it's, it's, we, we, understand that there's real value in uh, promoting trade uh, long-term and business engagement by having uh, citizens in other countries who uh, were trained uh, in uh, business practices from an American perspective. My name is Abdurrahim Raziki, Casablanca campus. Uh, I would like to thank you for being here again, and I would like for you, if you could elaborate on, uh, hopefully, opportunities for us students like ourselves who would like to go for internships at the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce in Casablanca, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and also those who want to go uh, to other internships in the U.S. in the future. Well, thank, I, you. Th th thank you. So, Doug, an opportunity to talk about internships uh, at the uh, U.S. Chamber. And uh, I don't know if there are opportunities within the commercial service range. There are. Great. Would you like to do these? Yeah. yeah, we'd love to have you. Great. Yeah, thanks, thanks for asking your question. Uh, my section uh, down in Casablanca definitely uh, is very interested in having a motivated, energetic, uh, business focused interns uh, to work in our section. Uh, we had them last summer, it worked out excellent. Uh, we had uh, two interns who uh, helped us write market research for uh, key sectors uh, of interest for American companies in Morocco. And uh, we had one, one of the interns was American. It was an American student studying Arabic in uh, Morocco. The other student was a Moroccan student studying English. And so it was a really a terrific uh, balance. They both learned from each other. And plus, 
the U.S. government got some darn good market research as a result. <laughs> so um, I would be uh, glad to receive any, um, uh, my, my section would be glad to receive any uh, uh, expressions of interest for interns uh, for this coming summer. So thank you. In, in, in terms of internships in the U.S., uh, American companies uh, have an opportunity to uh, 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 bring uh, foreign uh, interns into the country. There's a, a, a visa process that's involved. Uh, but it, it's an incredible, it, it's a great opportunity to gain uh, business experience. I'm glad to hear that Doug uh, has an opportunity uh, to have interns in his operation. I'm sure that the American Chamber uh, also has a path and maybe does can uh, serve as a, a contact for the AmCham as well. And are we good on time or out? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe one more question. Great. So, any additional questions? Hello. Um, how does the free trade agreement between Morocco and the U.S. attract American investors to Morocco instead of other countries? And uh, especially in education, for example, or in our university? Great. So the the, tree, the free trade agreement is uh, incredibly important. Uh, it has uh, led to uh, a significant increase in uh, trade between our two countries, uh, and and we are convinced that uh, with additional uh, engagement between our two governments uh, and additional uh, market-based reforms that. Uh, that volume of trade will, will only increase, which will be uh, good for uh, employment in Morocco, it will be good for the, the Moroccan people, and also good for uh, uh, the U.S. and employment and prosperity across both, uh, across both countries. Uh, the free trade agreement uh, enables American investment. Uh, in uh, Morocco over the long haul. It also makes a, Morocco more attractive to foreign investment uh, from all uh, corners of the world. It, it will allow uh, in anyone who decides to produce a product uh, in Morocco uh, access to uh, the, the world's biggest market, uh, the United States. So uh, the free trade agreement positions Morocco uh, to not only be uh, what Morocco has historically been, this gateway to Europe and, and Africa, but also uh, it positions Morocco as a base of uh, production uh, for export uh, into the United States. So it, it, sh it should, over time, uh, encourage investment in Morocco, encourage uh, additional employment in Morocco, and uh, increase the volume of trade between our two countries. Thank you. I'd like to uh, sit in here. Yeah, thank you, sir. I'd like to thank Mr. Marcus Jadot and uh, Douglas Wallace. They've been Doug. Doug has been a great support, and I'd like to let Marcus know that Doug has been always there, always helping us, always supporting us, and I thank him and I thank the U.S. U.S. Embassy and Marcus to come all the way over here to meet you guys, and I hope please stand up and big applause to you.